Now to a developing story we're following from Montrose. A man is in the hospital after he was shot multiple times by police. An officer say that man was holding a pellet gun that looked very similar to a Beretta handgun. Channel 2's Bill Spencer is live in Montrose tonight with the update. Bill? Jonathan, this shooting involving two Houston police officers comes at just a horrible time, with most of the nation still reeling from the officer-involved shootings that were controversial and also the all-out assassination of those brave, brave officers in both Dallas and Baton Rouge. Now, this whole thing started about 3.15 this afternoon at the intersection of West Alabama and Yoakum with reports of a man waving a gun in the air. An absolutely massive police presence in Montrose today. More than a dozen Houston police officers, detectives, and internal affairs investigators called to the scene where two police officers had just shot a suspect they thought was armed with a handgun. This individual has a weapon that's tucked inside of his waistband, and he immediately tells him at that time, hey, I need to see your hands. Uh, the suspect, again, is just staring at him, not saying a word, word to him at all. Suddenly, a second officer arrived, and still the police say that suspect refused to speak or follow their orders and raise his hands. And then it happened. For reasons unknown, the suspect disregards any of those commands, never says a word, goes to reach into the waistband to pull the gun out. And at that time, that's when both officers discharged their duty weapons. Now, police investigators say this weapon was actually a pellet gun, styled after the Beretta 92 handgun. But they say police officers couldn't possibly have known that at the time. Most of the public will look around and say, oh, he got shot over a toy gun. I think after they take a look at that and everyone takes a look at it, they'll understand what these officers were up against. Investigators are not saying how many times the suspect was shot, only that it was more than once. Tonight, the suspect is listed in critical but stable condition, recovering from gunshot wounds at Bentov Hospital. It's always a shame when it went uh... A citizen is shot, but from what I understand, um, the gentleman was asked to raise his hands. And Now, both police officers, and their names are R. Naughton and Officer J. Baldwin, both three-year veterans on the force. We are told both were wearing body cameras at the time of this incident. Nobody will see that video, though, until after 9 o'clock tomorrow. Investigators will try to look at it. This is Bill Spencer reporting live in Montrose, KPRC Channel 2 News.